off with Miss Elizabeth Bennet about 200 years ago when she found her match, Mr. Darcy. We've been wondering ever since, whatever happened to this perfect couple? Plenty, including but not limited to murder. Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy are living the dream you always wanted for them, with a the little Master Fitzwilliam running around at their ankles. Georgiana lives with them, and it's just a charming place. It's the happily ever after you wanted at the end of the book. Yet, when you're a Bennet, life can't just go on without a few bumps in the road. Especially when your annoying sister Lydia is married to Mr. Wickham, who is gorgeous, but a huge pain in the keister. Turns out that because of Mr. Darcy's estrangement with Mr. Wickham, Lydia and Lizzie are estranged as well, and she's not invited to the ball. So imagine the shock of everyone in the house when a carriage starts racing toward the front door with a hysterical screaming Lydia. But seriously, if that was my annoying sister, I would put her in a corner of the mansion with my mother and just leave her there. It turns out that Lydia's screaming because there was a murder. And of course, who's involved in that murder? None other than Mr. Wickham. He's a classic problem child. I mean, wasn't it enough that Mr. Darcy paid him 10,000 pounds to marry Lydia? Now he has to bring murder right onto the family property? Of course, Mr. Wickham claims his innocence, and there are a few other suspects, including this colonel who knows Mr. Wickham and has some kind of weird connection. Plus, he was out in the woods when the murder occurred. And then there's the hysterical maids who say they saw Mrs. Riley's ghost, and Elizabeth, who saw a woman who matches the description who wasn't a ghost but an actual person, yeah, she kind of wonders about her too. This miniseries has everything we love about BBC. Great acting, beautiful sets, and a story that you really believe. What I really loved about this show was that it brought back Pride and Prejudice and all the characters you love. All the way down to her parents coming for a visit and Mrs. Bennet flipping out and being ditzy as ever, and her dad going to hide in the library. This masterpiece mystery is definitely worth the watch.